Hello, this is the um, first um, of hopefully a few videos about PADI 2.0, the uh, next iteration of PADI. The software that lets you control sliders and everything else in Lightroom with uh, keyboards and MIDI controllers. This video is about using a MIDI keyboard, which is a new feature in uh, PADI 2.0. I have here a uh, standard MIDI keyboard. This is an Axiom 25. These things are pretty popular. There's two octaves here, a couple of drum pads, MIDI drum pads up here. We'll come to, to those later. And uh, MIDI controllers up here. We won't address those in this video, but hopefully in a later one. Today we'll focus on the uh, keyboard. And over here in Patty, um, we have uh, a random picture basically uh, from a zoo visit and if I go here into uh, preferences basic setup I can now uh, check under MIDI that I want to use a MIDI keyboard and uh, what will happen I promptly can assign a MIDI keyboard and here is my keyboard uh, these are 127 keys which are all the keys you can assign uh, under MIDI up here it gives me um, the note number 0 to 127 what note it is what octave uh, what channel I received something and what's assigned assigned to that specific uh, function uh, what's kind of neat so is I can could pick a note here and you can see uh, I would increase the bunch uh, already assigned a bunch of things here um, here for instance not nothing is assigned uh, here a couple of functions assigned but I can also just play on the keyboard so if I just play C here it goes um, uh, let me move this up a bit so you can see it, it selects here the uh, C in, in, in this octave and you can see I have mapped this to temperature selection only uh, for D I have tint selection only and all the way down all the sliders very intuitively um, uh, just the sliders are mapped to all of these uh, I can do this uh, by clicking on the keys uh, uh, here what I also have done is uh, on the two black keys here have slider down and slider up uh, uh, medium so let's make the slider up also a medium amount I click OK and now in my uh, picture here let's say I want to change the temperature I hit this and I increase the temperature by the by a certain amount or I decrease it and I don't like the tint maybe uh, maybe I think it's a bit too green so I go this way so uh, you know hopefully you can see that something is happening here uh, there's indeed something happening uh, the fill light is moving and so on. Very cool, uh, very simple. It gives us, in theory, 127 uh, keys. Actually, it gives us more. Even a keyboard like this, you can move the two octaves up and down uh, by, uh, by some of these keys, and you can obviously assign different channels. Uh, as you saw, maybe in the keyboard, the uh, keyboard here is all on uh, channel 1, uh, channel 16, excuse me. Uh, and you can see if I switch the octave here, if I go three octaves up, it actually selects down here. Uh, we have not mapped nothing at the moment. The other cool thing is, is I can map chords. So if you're a musician, that's kind of cool because you see here, as I said earlier, was uh, temperature. I, you know, simple C a chord here, I could do reset temperature. Or if you're not a musician, uh, you can maybe the keys right next to um, what you assign. So here, uh, C and D together, reset temperature, here, reset tent, uh, reset exposure, and so on. Um, and as I go out here, if I just want to reset something, so C, I'll uh, say I just modify this rather radically somewhat, uh, and I don't like what, I, what I've been doing here, uh, so this is bad you can you would never do it this way, but this is, and, and so I don't like it, and I just hit a chord here, and I get a temperature reset. Um, in essence, that gives me almost an unlimited amount of keys that I can map on a keyboard, and even two octaves like this gives you plenty of opportunity to map everything you want in, in, in PADI. Uh, lastly, uh, it doesn't have to be a keyboard. So, for instance, uh, these drum pads up here are also just uh, notes on an instrument. So this here, as you can see, is a channel on channel 10, is that uh, D here, for some reason, I don't know why. Patty automatically recognizes what the keyboard sends when you, when you put this. And I put this on the left panel, and the next one on the right panel. So as an enormous satisfaction, you hit something hard. I'm not sure about you, but I sometimes get very frustrated about these panels. Just hit something hard here, and the panels move more quickly next to each other, then both of them move. So uh, kind of a cool feature. Um, surely not for everybody, but I have to say the more I use it, the more I like this compared to my external um, 
keypad so I can X key or so on, which is much less flexible and much less intuitive for somebody like me having a you know, C minor or so accord for temperature reset when C is temperature. It uh, actually makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. Hopefully it was interesting. Um, Patty 2.0, the beta uh, 1 is out. Uh, should do all this, so obviously a lot of testing still, and hopefully we can go into the beta 2 pretty uh, soon. Thanks very much for listening.